My name is uh, Sydney Chipaka from Zambia. I'm 36 years old. The problem that has brought me to the Kakande ministry is uh, a chronic back pain. I've been having the back pain for two years. This is my medical report that I got from uh, UTH. Here on the screen, we are looking at this medical report from University Teaching Hospitals that's in Zambia. It's a medical report for Mr. Sidney Chipaka. This is where he went and the doctors decided to examine him and to treat him concerning this ailment. Particularly here we note that he was attended to by Dr. Musonda and when they examined him, they found degenerative changes in his lumbar spine. Hence, he was diagnosed with lumbar spondylosis. And as indicated, he was advised to wear a lumbar corset for support, which he wears up to today. He cannot rise up without support. He has got so much pain. Look at the agon on the face, proving the pain that he's going through for this period. Can you find the friends of faith? Oh, well, the faithful friend Christ Jesus has shared the sorrow of Mr. Shibaka. Jesus knows our every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer. He's taking away all the people. The name Jesus. Be here. Rise up and go, you are free. Brethren, the two years of pain ends now. Mr. Chipaka has risen up. He's now removing the lumbar corset. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. Thank you, Jesus. Clap, clap for Jesus Christ for what he has done for Thank him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, the pain is gone. The pain is gone. Jesus Christ instantly healed Mr. Chipaka Sydney from the pain that he suffered for quite a long time. The following day, he came back to testify when he is a new creature in Jesus' name. My name is uh, Sydney Chipaka. I'm 36 and I'm coming from Zambia. The issue that uh, brought me here to the Kakande Ministries was the issue of uh, lower back pain. I had this issue for the past uh, two years and uh, it uh, disturbed me. Owing to the nature of work that I do, I'm an IT engineer and uh, my role in uh, the company that I work for requires me to sit on the computer for a long time. I work in a control center where I monitor the status and the health of the, of the network. So most of the time, you have to be seated looking at the screens. So how this uh, problem affected me is that when I'm seated for a long time, that nagging pain, the burning pain was uh, just uh, there. So this uh, prompted me to go and seek uh, medical attention. I went to UTH, as you saw on the synopsis of my, my record. From there, I was um, told that I had uh, spondylosis and uh, mechanical back pain. So all the pain that I was feeling was as a result of uh, that uh, same issue. So you know, when they have found something in you, the doctors will always prescribe something. So what they did, they prescribed uh, a plan for me. And one of the plan was uh, that I should uh, do physiotherapy. So I used to attend physiotherapy on uh, Mondays and Thursdays for one hour or 30 minutes. Every, every week, they prescribed that I should do that for six weeks. Then the other thing was uh, this uh, 
lumber corset that I'm holding. They told me that uh, because uh, from the x-rays that I did, my spine was uh, not straight. It was not straight, so I needed to be putting on this so that it can uh, come in the right position. And I was supposed to wear this again. These uh, plans didn't come without uh, medication to ease the pain. So every day, brethren, I had to take close to six, seven, eight tablets every day. And uh, once I take those tablets, I would feel heart burns, headaches, and uh, I'm sure you understand the pain of uh, taking these medications. That uh, went on for weeks. I think I attended uh, physiotherapy for two weeks. And um, a friend of mine sent me a video for Prophet uh, Kakande when he was uh, explaining to the church how he was uh, blessed. I got interested. So I thought, uh, let me continue watching some of the videos. I searched on YouTube, Facebook. I watched quite a number of videos and I, my spirit just told me that you just have to, to travel. Things are not okay, but child of God, you just have to travel so that you can partake of the miracles, signs and wonders that are taking place in the Kakande Ministries. By the grace of God, I gathered some money and I managed to, to come here by the glory of God and his grace and mercies upon me. I was opportune to be placed in the prayer line. On the prayer line, the man of God prayed for me. <laughs> what happened after the prayer, I can't uh, really remember. I'm just seeing it like now. It was an awesome uh, time for me because uh, the moment I heard the gentleman go, you are free. I touched my back, the pain was not there. I thank God for using the man of God, Prophet uh, Samuel Kakande, and allowing uh, Jesus, who is the master healer, to just uh, do his uh, will upon my life. I'm grateful and I'm forever indebted to this uh, ministry. I thank you. Mwena Zambia Bonse, na msanti kechine chine, paliku anukashita. Nganamu kwa ta chance ya kwa batintu mwaisa, kuno Kakande Ministries. As Prophet Kakande is always on record saying that there is a garage in Uganda, regardless, ama afya yonzo wa mkwete, kuno kwa li wawa makenika, awe ngalungisha. Amen. Na liisa kuno, na liise ndoku pusushua. Ndiye mikosele shokwe wati, Yesu Kristu, Achiri mma kwebo ya kwe, haya kupususha, nuku mwona kwe wa taba na wa kwe, taba reba wa titikishuwa no muluani. Na mitotela, ichine chine, kabili, na mitotela. Konkanyi nipo kutamba, nuku kwa techete kero, nuku kwa tafe, kulole la panchitaye, nuku kwa tinga mwaka nisho kuisa, tumwa isa nuku saa, senda kwa ubu pusushi, ngevo ubu na senda ini, pabushiku warelo, na totela. So, before the prayer, as I alluded to, there are so many things that I couldn't do. Like yesterday's uh, service, we sat in the service for almost six hours. I can sit as you can see. There is no prescribed way that I should sit. Because usually before the prayer, I would uh, sit like this in most cases. So that I uh, try to abate the pain. But yesterday, I was sitting most of the times like this, so no complications, I can stand, I can sit, I can stand, no pain, I can walk freely, I can walk freely, I can walk freely, I can walk freely, as you can see, I can still walk, I can still walk, I can still walk, I can walk, 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 I can even do jogging, I can do it, and I know. Everything is going to be perfect. I thank God for this opportunity and I will forever remain indebted. And I also believe that this healing is not only upon my health, 
but everything that concerns me, heaven knows that it is over. Thank you. So the consent now, they always say that there's never a right time to end friendships, but I feel and I'm very convinced that with this thing, this is where the end of the road is. I don't need you. The healing power of the Lord Jesus Christ is real and is using the man of God to prophet Samuel Kakande so mightily. These are the things that I, I was sometimes so skeptical about them and I was dragging because there was a time when I watched the video and I was like, ah, these things, maybe they are staged or arranged. But uh, with my own eyes, I've moved out from the bracket of a Thomas now to a person who can testify that the goodness of God is in this place. Thank you, Lord, for healing me. Thank you, Lord, for your favor and your grace upon my life and upon everything that concerns me. Blessed be the name of the Lord. My name is called Rosa Kinyo Cheng from Kisumu, Kenya. The problem is lumbar spy, calcania spy, back pain. This is my medical report. Here on the screen, we are looking at this medical report from Ritri Medical Imaging Clinic in Kisumu, Kenya. It's a medical report for Sister Rose Akinyi. Here she was referred by Dr. Tobia Socheno to have her examined. So they took x-rays of her cervical spine and they noted that she has got cervical spondylosis. Upon examining her lumbar spine through the x-ray, they observed she has got lumbar spondylosis. They also took x-rays of both her heels and they noted she has got left calcaneus spur. She has got this outgrowth of bone which is causing so much pain and this is being confirmed by Dr. Coco. Now she has got difficulty in rising up. You see the difficulty that Sister Rose has even in walking. Today she has come to the Lord Jesus Christ to receive her healing. Mm, we found a friend so faithful We are our sorrow Hey, Jesus knows our every weakness Take it to the Lord in prayer The mighty friend Jesus Christ is now flashing out the pain The mighty name Jesus Christ be here. The pain in the legs, the pain in the back is being flushed out. Woman, rise up and go, you're free. The Lord Jesus Christ has set Sister Rose free. This is her day. She has risen up. Hallelujah. Clap, clap those hands for Thank Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Help him. Help him. Help yeah. him. Help him. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Help him. Now you can speak. Clap for Jesus. Amen. My name is Rosa Kinyuchi from Kenya. I'm feeling well. I'm feeling well. I'm healed. He has the ability to put a smile on each and every agony face. That is Jesus. Hallelujah. He has the ability. Today, you put a smile on your face. You put a smile on your face because you will see your business developing. Because you see a breakthrough in your career. Say, Jesus, 
I love you. You are the one who can put a smile on my face because you have ability to resurrect my career, my status, my business. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ touched Lady Rose Akinyi by the prayer made in faith by the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande. The following day, she came back to testify to God's glory. My name is Rose Akinyi Ocheng. I'm from Kisumu, Kenya. I'm 46 years. Nabiro Kaka Tuo on Friday. I came here on Friday when I was really sick. Natuoma tech. I was really sick. Ondinga nerama. I had back pains. Ngeya nerama. The back pains were severe. Tienda nerama. I had leg problems. Na yudo accident gipiri piki. I had an accident with a motorcycle. I've walked to different hospitals. No kayudo konyuruok. I didn't get any help. After seven months of suffering, I decided to come here. When I came here, I was placed on the prayer line on Saturday. That is where I got my healing. I got the true healing from the man of God. The back pains that I had are now over. The back pains which were so severe are now over. The pains that I had in my leg that I can't even wear shoes now have worn shoes. Now I can walk. Clap for Jesus. I can sit down. I could not sit down after I had my accident. I can raise my hands. I give thanks to the Almighty God. I give thanks to Prophet Samuel Kakande for praying for me until I got my healing. Now I can go back to my country and do everything that I could not be able to do. I can bend down. I can walk as fast as possible. I can now dance. I can now dance something that I could not be able to do. I could now raise my hands which I could not be able to do. God has really helped me. I really thank God for healing me. I give thanks to Prophet Samuel Kakande. I give thanks to all the Ugandan citizens. Thank you, God. Blessed be the name of the Together for Jesus Christ. Dile Judith Mumba, Uchoka Kuzambia, 
problem yanga ni kuendona msana for 12 years sindi kuadisa kuenda kuenda patari mm -hmm. nienda chape pafupi mm. medical report yanga ni e. right here we are looking at the medical report from the Republic of Zambia, Ministry of Health, from Choma General Hospital. It's a medical report for Sister Judith Momba. This is where she went with complaints of pain in her right knee, with limping gait and back ache. So upon the doctors examining her entire musculoskeletal system, they diagnosed her with right knee osteoarthritis and lumbar spondylosis. And this is being confirmed by Dr. Mushaukwa Chimoka. You can see the way she's limping because of the pain that she has. See how the power of Jesus Christ has touched her. That is Sister Judith who has come with lumbar spondylosis. Jesus Christ. Be here. For 12 years she has come with severe pain in the back, pain in the knees due to lumbar spondylosis and arthritis. Jesus Christ is healing her right now. Okay, woman, rise up and go, you're free. Sister Judith has been declared free. It's now her time to rise up. <laughs> She's healed. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm free. I'm free. Enda, enda, enda. I'm free. I'm free, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. I will see you heal me. Thank you, Thank you, Lord. You restored my health. God be the glory. Lady Judith Mumba from Zambia had suffered with pain in the back and in the joints. But the moment man of God stretched his hand in prayer for her, all pain was flushed out in Jesus' mighty name. Listen to her wonderful testimony the following morning. In end, the Judith Mumba. My name is Judith Zambia. My name is Judith Mumba from Zambia. I've been sick for a long time. I had severe back pain. And, uh, I had pain in my leg as well for a long time. There's nothing that I could do. For 12 years. I've been sick for 12 years. So, I had pain in my leg as well for a long time. There's nothing that I could do. For 12 years. I've been sick for 12 years. I've been 12 years. I started watching Prophet Kakande Ministries on TV and I saw people getting healed. Then I said, maybe it's time for me to go and have this problem that I've had for 12 years healed. So, I Prophet Kakande and I said, I'm to be honest, I'm going to be honest, I'm going to be honest. When I came here, the Prophet prayed for me. After praying for me, I felt my body became very light. I'm going to be honest, Previously, I would struggle to even lift my legs, and when I came here, my body was feeling very heavy. But after Prophet prayed for me, I felt very light, and now even the legs that I was failing to lift, I'm able to lift and move freely. So, I'm, I'm moving freely. Without any pain. As you can see me walking freely without any pain. I couldn't walk. I couldn't walk before I came here, but now I can walk freely. I'm walking freely. Before the prayers, I couldn't even walk freely. Now I'm walking freely without any pain in my knee. Previously, I couldn't even sit. Now I'm sitting freely. As you can see, I can stand up freely without any pain. I can lift my legs freely without any pain. I can lift my legs freely, as you can see. I couldn't before I came here. I've been delivered, I've been healed. I'm so grateful to Prophet Kakanda and most importantly to God. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to Jesus Christ. I will seek you healed.
My name is Nathan Peter Chiwoko. I'm from northwestern province of Zambia. I've got a problem of uh, lower back pain. I've suffered with this problem for eight years. And this is my medical report from uh, Sinozam Friendship Hospital in Kitwe. We are looking at this medical report from Sinozam Friendship Hospital in Zambia. It's a medical report for Mr. Peter Chiboko. Upon being examined by the doctor through this MRI that was done of his lumbar spine, they noted that he has got bulging of the discs. So he was diagnosed with bulged and degeneration of intervertebral discs on L4, L5, and L5S1. This is being confirmed by Dr. Chen. He signed here to confirm. Presently, Mr. Peter wears a lumbar corset for support because the pain he has in the back is so, so severe. It's so difficult he has in rising up. These are now eight years of pain. Can he find a friend so faithful who will all our sorrows share? Jesus knows our every weakness. Healing is going on for Brother Peter in Jesus' name. You are free in Jesus' name. Genda, Tambula. This marks the end of the eight years of pain. Mr. Yeah. Peter has risen up. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Time to remove this lumbar corset. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. I'm healed. I'm healed. Thank you, Jesus. To God be the glory. Mr. Nathan Peter Chiboko from Zambia was totally set free from the excessive pain he suffered for over eight years. With a prayer made in faith by the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande, he was made a new creature and totally free from all pain. Be blessed as you listen to his testimony. My name is Nathan Peter Chiwoko uh, from northwestern province of Zambia. I'm 52 years old. The problem I had which brought me here is the problem of back pain. The problem started in 2016. So I suffered for eight years. Uh, in the year 2022, I even resigned. I was uh, an employee of FQMO in the mine, Kansanch mine. So I decided to, to resign because of the same problem. I went to different hospitals with the same problem. But finally, last year, I went to Sinozam Friendship Hospital in Kitwe. That's where the doctors found that the disc on my lower back is degenerated. So I used a lot of different types of medicines, but it couldn't work. They gave me this, this belt so that it can help me. But instead of helping me, it increased the pain. Today, I'm even throwing it. I, I, will, not use, I, will, I will not use it anymore. I decided to, to come here in Uganda so that I can be healed by the, the prayers of the man of God. I was following Facebook. That's why I decided to come here. On Saturday, I heard as if he, there was a sound on my, my head. After that sound, the body started changing. I was just surprised I'm down. After being prayed for by the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande, I was very surprised. 
All the pain went out from me. I was healed instantly. I was healed instantly. All the time, if I bend like this, if I bend, there was a sound on my back. I heard the sound, kum, here. <laughs> but, if, but, but today, if I bend, I can do this. There is no sound. Wow. I can do this. I can walk. I can walk. Even if I'm walking, I can even run. Even cross country, I can run. I can run. So, sitting for a long time to me now, it is not a problem. I can sit for a long time. The example is yesterday. I can stand up for, I can stand now for a long time. The service of yesterday, I sat from 0, 0.6.30 to, to 19 hours. I had no problem. All these years, I've been sleeping on the floor. My wife on the bed, but I on the floor. I've got a small mattress, one inch like this, one inch mattress. One of the doctors told me to use one inch mattress on the floor, not on the bed. So I followed that instruction to, to sleep on the floor like that. After the player, I'm now sleeping on the bed, on the mattress, no pain. The pain I experienced is no more. Last night, I slept like a baby. I slept like a baby. No pain. So from here, I'll go and sleep on my bed. <laughs> I'm thanking God. I'm healed. I'm healed. I would like to tell Zambians in Northwestern Province and all provinces of Zambia, Antangajami Mwani, Adiku Mwinirunga, Adiku Zambezi, Solwezi, plus Zambia Ejima Mwani, Naku Ireja Kunama, Kunuku Uganda, Kampala, Kudingambaya and Zambi, Unakulomba Mwani, Ejima Adina Ikatu, Eish madina ikatumwa ni yambo kamboka mwatela kuinza kunu ku Uganda ukampala na kutambula kuke wa muijina da Yesu na asa kirimwani I thank you Lord for my healing I was not expecting to be healed instantly but I've been healed instantly so all pain is gone I thank God I thank Jesus I thank the Lord Join him to give oh, thanks to the healer, thank Jesus the Christ. I was sick, you healed me. Thank you, Lord. You restored my health again. Thank you, Lord. I was sick, you healed me. Thank you, Lord. You restored my health again. from Jamaica, I live in the United States. I have a car accident and the accident caused me to have lower back pain, pain in my legs, pain in my hands, with arthritis. So this is my medical report to confirm that I have all these sickness. We are looking at this medical report from Gwyneth Bonny Joint specialist in Georgia, USA. It's a medical report for Georgia, Lady Ina. It's a medical report for Lady Ina Saunders. This is what she went with these various complaints of pain, like she has explained to us. So the doctors took an MRI of her lumbar spine. 
under the care of Dr. Brandon Tolman, who referred her there. So upon examining her, they noted several abnormalities of arthropathy in her L1 to L2, L2 to L3, L3 to L4, L4 to L5, up to L5S1. Hence, she was diagnosed with severe L4 to L5 and moderate L5 to S1 central spinal canal stenosis, secondary to trace anterolysthesis, that is slippage, and severe facet arthropathy. They further noted she has got transitional lumbosacral anatomy. This is being confirmed by Dr. Corbin Pomeranz, is a doctor of medicine in the USA. Now, Lady Saunders, where is the lumbar corset for support? Rising up is so difficult, walking is so difficult, she cannot bend. This is how she has suffered with pain for the past eight years. Can we find a friend so faithful? Who will all our sorrows share? Jesus, friend, Christ Jesus is now sharing the sorrow of Lady Rosanders. Behold how she's being driven. Take it to the Lord in prayer. From sickness to good Be health. Be in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You have done it all. You did it 2,000 years ago. You are now doing it again. Woman, rise up, for you are free in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Rise up, you are free. Agony ends now in Jesus' mighty name. Sister Sodas has risen up. Now removing the lumbar cross she has been wearing for support. Glory be to Jesus Christ. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I'm healed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I'm feeling fine. Walk, Mama. Walk. Look at the lady, she's so new in Jesus' name. Clap for Jesus. God be the girl. Whatever you are looking for <laughs> to Jesus is very small because he has power to do it. Trust him. Lady Saunders, Aina from USA, had suffered with excessive pain in her back for over eight years. But when the man of God prayed for her, her pain was no more. The following day, she joyfully shared her testimony, as you can witness. My name is Ina Saunders, originally from Jamaica, now living in the United States. I have an accident um, in 2016 and uh, caused me to have pain. And that's the reason for me being here in the Kakandi ministry. I have back pain all of my back, lower back, down to my legs, my feet, and I couldn't walk. I couldn't sit good. I couldn't sleep. I was uncomfortable all the time, in pain all the time. I finally went back to my primary care doctor and tell him, I can't keep going like this. I have to find a way to make me well. Give me a prescription to go back to my specialist. Specialists take a x-ray and an MRI and found the nerve in my foot to have pain. On top of that, I have arthritis. I could not do anything. I was like a log sitting somewhere. Somebody have to help me. 
which was not something that I used to. They gave me um, this to wear on my feet and this on my back, which does not help. So when the doctor told me I have to have surgery or needle in my spine, I say, I don't want any more of that. I know where I can go get my healing. I decided to come to the Kakandi ministry. I have this pain for eight years straight, and it was not an easy road. It was not easy eight years. I was like a cripple, which is not good for anyone. When I first came here, I couldn't walk good. I needed help. I came to the Kakandi ministry. I got my healing. I can walk. I let me throw that down because it's no need for. So I can walk. <laughs> I can walk. Normally walking. And I can do all things that I could not do. So I just want to thank God. I thank the Lord for giving me this opportunity to come to the Kakandri ministry. It was not an easy road, but I made it. And I just want to thank God. I can sit. I don't have to take my time like I normally would. I would even sit on a chair. I just threw myself in the couch. It was too much for me to sit on a chair. The couch was everything for me. So now I'm here. I am feeling fine. My legs are up. I couldn't do this. I can squat. I could not do that. I could kneel. I couldn't kneel. This was my biggest problem. I could not kneel. And I just thank God. Let us clap for Jesus. I can do all of these things. I want to give God thanks. I want to thank the Almighty God. I want to thank the Prophet for praying for me. And I want to thank each and every one of you people who help in this ministry. You're very kind. I thank you so much. I have to say to my fellow Jamaican, American, if you have pain, it doesn't matter what. It is free here, no money. No money, that is our problem. We talk about money, money, money. We come here, we don't pay for prayers. Prize is free, so you can come, get your healing, go back to your country, do your do, and all is well. All honor and glory back to Jesus, because he is the maker, he is the finisher, he know all things, he know what I was going through, and he set me free from all the pain. Thank the prophet to pray for me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Glory and honor back to Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let us train her to give thanks to the healer, Jesus Christ.
what you have to get for Jesus Christ. My name is Rose Mnisi from Tanzania. I'm 73 years old. I've been suffering from severe backache and knee pain for more than 10 years. This is my medical report from the doctor where I've been attending. We are looking at this medical report from Kilimanjaro Christian Medical Center in Tanzania. It's a medical report for Lady Rose P. Munisi. We are being informed that she's been attended to in this medical facility with complaints of chronic pain in her lower back, pain radiating to the lower limbs, associated with tingling and burning sensations in the lower limbs. So when they took an MRI of her, it showed that she has got degenerative lumbar spondylosis with intervertebral disc degenerative desiccation. They noted that at L4, L5, she has got symmetrical disc bulge, causing bilateral impingement of the nerve root, exiting with moderate spinal canal stenosis and severe neuroforaminal stenosis. So this is how she has suffered with the pain in spite of the treatment, it's not responding. Being confirmed by Dr. Victor Clements, he's a resident orthopedic and in charge of traumatology. It's the difficulty she has in rising up. That is a rose. For 10 years, she has suffered this pain. Now she comes to the healer Jesus Christ to intervene in her painful situation. Behold, this is God's power. Be here. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. You have done it all. She has been wearing this knee brace for support because of the severe pain in the knees. Now Jesus Christ is taking out all the pain, healing her. Thank you, Jesus. Woman, rise up and go, you are free. To God be the glory. <laughs> Sister Rose is now rising up. In Jesus' name. Now is the time to remove this knee brace she has been wearing for support. Because her pain is a thing of the past. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ has set her free. Walk. She can now rise up and walk very fast. <laughs> Glory be to Jesus. I'm healed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. God be the glory. Lady Rose Munise from Tanzania had suffered with pain in the back for over 10 years. When she came before the man of God for prayer, all the pain was put to an end in Jesus' mighty name. The following day, she came back to testify to God's glory. My name is Rose Munise from Tanzania. The lady on my right is my daughter. Good morning, church. My name is Judith Muniz from Tanzania. Back to mom. I've been sick for more than 10 years. I was suffering from severe back pain, which was due to carrying something heavy. And then the pain started there. After attending to the hospital several times, receiving some medicines for long, Sometimes the doctor said that the severe back pain caused also knee pain. So I was suffering from severe back pain and also knee pain. This was about 15 years back pain, 10 years now, the knee pain. It was very difficult for me. I couldn't perform my duties as a mother. I couldn't also perform my work properly as I was used. I was a teacher by profession before retiring. It was difficult for me to teach while sitting all the time. Now, our Lord is great and is always kind. He let me know about the Kakande Ministries. When I heard about Kakande Ministries, I started following on the YouTube. I saw the amazing miracles that were happening here, how people were being healed, and so I decided that one day I should come here to receive my healing. Then 
God enabled me to come and I came here. As you have seen on the video, I was prayed for by Prophet Samuel Kakande and suddenly I had something like electric power coming from my body. I felt light. I stood up. I started walking properly, dancing as you have seen. And now I have no longer pains. I can bend. I can walk. I can walk without pain. Clap, clap for Jesus. I can run. I can bend. I can squat. I can also sit. I can also sit properly without pain. I can stand up without pain. Thank you, Jesus, for that miracle. I thank our Lord Jesus for healing me. I thank Prophet Samuel Kakande for praying for me. The video you saw there, now for me, my dear brothers, is just a history. I am no longer ill. I am healed. I am doing well. Sometimes the doctors gave me this breast to support my need, to support me from working properly. But now, I no longer need it. Because I'm healed, I'm a new person now. Glory be to God. I thank Jesus Christ for healing me and our prophet Samuel Kakande for praying for me. Praise be the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for healing my mother. As my mother said, she has said it all. Really, she was suffering for more than 10 years. She couldn't do her duties as a mother. We had to help her in everything. But now that is the thing of the past. My mother is healed, totally healed, completely healed, and the healed is permanent. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande, for praying for my mother. Glory be to God. Lanye wandu, mkozu uo. Mamza anga ike ichumi ya kunu na kunu. Mamza nye odawa kila siku kila siku. Njoni na kunu Uganda kuore mdu ruwa the muende. Kakuwara kidogo kuri tupu. Nowe oroka, nowe chumi ya, nowe kukoni. Thanks to God. Glory be to God. Thank you. Together, let's give God glory for this wonderful healing. from Windhoek, Namibia. The problem that uh, brought me here, I suffered almost for 10 years. 
I experienced a dislocation in a, a spinal cord. This is my medical report from the doctor. This medical report from medical imaging. These are diagnostic radiologists in Windhoek, Namibia. It's a medical report for Ms. Lauja Shinedima. This is what she was referred by Dr. S. Shuteleni to have her examined. And because of this pain in the lower back and pain in her right leg, when they examined her, they noted several abnormalities in her lumbar spine. Hence, she was diagnosed with central and left paracentral disc bulge at L4, L5, touching the descending L5 nerve root in the lateral recess, together with the central and right paracentral annular tear at L5, S1. This being confirmed by the diagnostic radiologist, Dr. M. Van de Marais. Now, these 10 years is agony in the life of this lady. Walking is so difficult, bending, squatting. This is the healing touch from Jesus Christ. The mighty name Jesus, be here. Father, we thank you, we bless your holy name. Rise up and go, you are free. Thank you, Jesus. The 10 years of pain are gone. Lady Lauja is now rising up. You've got glory for thank setting up free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. Mm -hmm. God be the glory. The Lord Jesus Christ instantly healed Lady Shine Dima from Namibia, who had suffered with a lot of pain for over 10 years. But with a prayer made in faith by Prophet Samuel Kakande, she was totally set free to God's glory. Be blessed as you listen to her testimony. My name is Lady Shine Dima. I'm from Namibia. The reason I came to Kakande ministry is because this is the arena of liberty. 20 years back, I fell down. When I fell down, I, I sat on my right leg. And from there, I never had any injury or any harm. After five years, sign began on my right side. As time goes on, pain developed on my right hip. I started consulting doctors, different doctors. And uh, people of God is always is so frustrating. All the results are just the same. The sonar, the x-rays, doesn't show anything. All of them, they are telling me I'm fine. My hip doesn't have any, any sign. I decided to go to the specialist. The specialist sent me to MRI. They diagnose that I'm having a minor dislocated spinal cord on my lower backbone. From there, my doctor referred me to this spinal cord specialist for operation. I'm still having the referral paper. I did not proceed. I refused to go to the operation. From there, as pain goes on, it starts going on, on my lower part of my leg. From last year, I never consult any doctor anymore for that condition. I survived through my tablets and ointment. Early this year, the severe pain developed again. That's why I decided to come and seek the face of the Lord for healing. It was my privilege to be part of the healings on Saturday. I felt the power of the touch from the men of God, Prophet Samuel Gagande. 
I found myself on the ground. It's only the voice of the prophet that said, women, rise up and walk. I never used to lie down on my right side. But these past two nights, I used that side, what I never used for a long time. And I never experienced any pain or anything. And I slept like a baby. I can run. I can dance. That's how I was shaking myself like this. As you saw me, eventually I had the problem of standing if I sit for a long time. But now, within a second, I'm healed, I'm healed. I think Prophet Samuel Kakande, that he was sent for us to heal and to deliver us. And I give all the glory and honor to the Lord Jesus. who is the most healer, and this healing, my healing will be permanent. I want to cover my permanent healer with the verse from Jesaiah 54, verse 17. So the word of encouragement, my tribe, Oshuambo speaking, so to the Otoka Kongo Erudo, Kongere Kam Prophet, Samuel Kakande, Ombim Berige, Ayelongifa, Gashi Gombim Berinja to Rungifake Wumbo. Kapunashi Tobo, Gudia Kapunashi Tongitike, Kunashi Tofutu, Egali Kanuke Yoshat, Ah Numba Mulimona Mimbia, Quedina Mueza Mueco Matando, Ninga Muemi Potha, Ipotha Imonico Arundib, Kaisi Maushit, Ashik and Goya, Tomone Hupis or Yotomene Veru or Yo, Oshadi Sham Hongi. I give all the honor and glory to Jesus Christ.